My name is Christer Johansson uh, and I'm a professor at Stockholm University and also an uh, environmental officer in the Environment and Health Administration of the city of Stockholm. So at the, in the city I work with uh, air pollution monitoring and modeling uh, and in both in research projects and in projects where we do the model modeling or monitoring for the surveillance of the air quality. In the you know, at university I have several research projects also connected to uh, air pollution, urban air pollution. But what is special here in Stockholm is the cooperation between the university and the city of Stockholm. So we have uh, several research projects, uh, for example, uh, measuring black carbon or soot particles is part of one of the research projects. Yeah, so this is an instrument that measures the light absorption of particles. And it measures light absorption in seven wavelengths. And the reason why we measure different wavelengths is because the diesel particles and the biomass generated particles absorb differently depending on wavelengths. And because of that, we can actually estimate what is the percentage contribution to soot particles from biomass burning and what is the percentage from diesel part, uh, particles. Here we measure particulate matter particles smaller than 10 micrometers in diameter. So we have an inlet up here collecting all these particles into these instruments. And inside the instruments <coughs> there is a small uh, filter sitting on a rod vibrating. And from the vibration you can calculate the particulate mass. You, you measure the frequency change. So this is a very simple uh, technique, but very sensitive to measure particulate matter. And here we can see now that uh, right up here on the roof we have uh, uh, around 8,000 particles per milliliter of air. And down in the street canyon uh, close to traffic we have around 16 or 20,000 particles per milliliter of air. So you can see the increase here when we go from the rooftop down to the street level where we have most of traffic. Then we see, see the contribution from traffic. Here, just the difference between the two uh, stations. This is also part of the uh, goal of, of the Swedish environmental goals to, to have uh, fresh air. <laughs> 